Hey guys, I'm very excited for today's video because today I'm going to try something completely different. I have never set up artificial grass or turf before, but a friend whose balcony I'm setting up, he was very clear he wanted artificial grass or turf for his balcony. So I am also a beginner at it and I'm going to share my experience of setting it up. Now, before we jump on to how to set up the artificial grass, I have a small announcement. Ta-da! We are back with our vintage macrame hangers. We launched them a couple of months back and we very quickly went out of stock. Now, since they're handmade, they're completely handmade. We get this wood polished and we make this macrame. It takes a lot of time. So they're limited in availability. If you want to order one for yourself, you can follow the link down below. There's going to be a link to our garden up store just under this video and you can check out these hangers. All right, so let's move on to how you can set up artificial grass on your own. The first thing and the foremost important thing is to measure the balcony or the space where you're going to set up the turf or artificial grass. Now, they come in different densities, meaning the grass will be thicker or thinner per square feet. We are using a 35 mm thickness. For your reference, a football turf is about 50 mm. For setting up, we first lay it down to measure the extra bits. We want to cover the sides as well. And I'm going to cut the extra part out with a scissor. You can use anything that is sharp. The sharper it is, the better. Using simple scissors can make it pretty difficult to cut. To cut straight, follow the pattern. The sheet comes in a fixed width of 2 meters. So here we are using two sheets to cover this 16 feet by 9 feet area. To cover the gap between them, just try to place them the closest you can or you can also overlap them. The gap won't be very evident. And if you're laying this down on a terrace, you don't need anything to stick this to the ground. But if you're doing this in soil, you would need some nails to fix it. Keeping it as it is here on the balcony will help me remove or roll it whenever we want to. For cleaning, you can use water, broom, or you can just remove the dead leaves or anything fallen on the grass. The turf also comes with such holes for drainage. It looks really nice to cover a bare balcony and you can place a couple of life plants as well and it will create a tiny oasis. Now, if you're considering putting this in your balcony, I would like to highlight the pros and cons. The good thing is that this is green. It gives a calming effect. And if you cannot get a lot of plants in your space, then why not cover it up? But the problem with this is that first it's plastic because it's not real grass, it's plastic. And second problem is that it's very expensive. In 2000 rupees, you can get so many plants with this entire thing just covering 8 by 10 square feet, 8 by 16 square feet, costed us about 12,000 rupees. For this density, it costed us about 80 rupees per square feet. So it depends on your needs, it depends on your choices as well. I just thought that I would highlight uh, the pros and cons. Like for example, the friend for whom I'm setting up the balcony, he wanted a turf because he's a football fan. So it totally depends on your needs. And I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.